Happy New Year! Thanks for coming back to my channel, and if you're new, this is such a good way to start the year. I hope you subscribe. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how I paint on my own French tips. You can make them any color you want. I just use my own nail polish, and I'm going to file my nails too, because I let them get kind of long just so that they were good for filing. I never let my nails grow, honestly, because they really bug me when they're long, and they get all dirty and stuff. But... I'm going to file my nails and then show you the different coats and the cool little tricks you can do to get your own French tips at home. So first I'm going to file my nails with this little baby nail file that I found. <laughs> but also ignore my outfit. Um, I'm really swagged out right now. Mostly I just don't want to get nail polish on any of my good clothes. So I'm just wearing like these grungy pajamas because... One, they're comfortable, and two, I don't care if I accidentally spill or something like that. So this is what my nails look like right now. Not that cute. And I'm just going to file them down. Because I want a little tip left on them. Because it gives more room for the French tip without making the base color look too short and like weird. So I will leave a little white on my nail. And that will make it look nice and proportional. I'm starting out with white I'm gonna make the actual base of my nails white and then put a different color as the trim so this dumb brand is just like it says Julie on it or something I don't know it's like I lost my good white so I'm just gonna use this cheap white and do a couple coats I mean I usually do a couple coats but it's probably I actually haven't used it but yeah so my base color of my nails is gonna be white and then, oh yeah, I just wiped all these off, but make sure, you can use a nail file to do this too, but make sure you get all the filed nail out from under your nail, otherwise it starts sticking out and messes up your top coat. Okay, so since I got my cuticles taken care of, um, did this on purpose to show you guys what can happen if you have too much um, polish on the brush it floods into all sides of my cuticle and it gives you like not as clean of a look like you can tell the difference between this one and this one if it focuses see this one has nothing on the edges and this one flooded like on the bottom and on the sides so you want to make sure that you don't have too much polish on the brush and that you also don't push too far down on your nail because it will fill without you having to push the brush down there. Okay, so I just let the first coat dry and now I'm gonna do a second coat because with any opaque sort of color, it always looks like shit unless you do at least two coats. And also, if you've never had saltines with peanut butter on them, it's the best snack ever. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is the difference between the second coat on the left and one coat on the right. Okay, so it's actually the next day right now. <laughs> I decided since I'm gonna be putting saran wrap on my nails for these French tips, I should let the two base coats dry completely because you don't want the saran wrap to stick to them at all. And I figured the best way to know that they're dry is to wait a whole day. <laughs> so I just got back from the gym. I was doing deadlifts, as you can see. And I'm also starting to cover my nails with plastic wrap. So, I will show you what they look like when they're all covered with plastic wrap. My really number one tip is cover all of your nails before you start painting. Because if you cover a couple and then paint, it's like you have wet tips and then you're trying to use saran wrap and it's just a big mess. So, cover all of your nails and then paint your tips. Okay, so I have... All of my nails covered with little pieces of saran wrap and I left and I left just the tip exposed so that when I paint it it makes a nice flat line at the top and my tips come out just the way I lined my saran wrap and then I took the plastic wrap and voila French tips I decided to do red because it's still Christmas in my opinion because the 12 day the 12 days of Christmas actually happen after Christmas and it really bugs me when everyone's like taking down their decorations and stuff right after Christmas because like the kings and everything like in the real story didn't even come until like January something so 
I'm still in the Christmas spirit and I'm doing red and white. Okay, so one more thing to remember when you're finishing, don't let them dry before you take the saran wrap off. You might think that it's better to let them dry first, but it'll start to stick to the saran wrap, the layer that you have on the tip. So peel it off pretty much right after. And now I'm going to put a top coat on because that I feel like the tip will peel off unless you put a top coat on. And that is how you paint your own French tips on with a straight line. And now it's time for snowmobiling. So stick around because I think I'm going to take my camera up and we're going to go snowmobiling up on the hill before it gets dark. I mean, I love snowmobiling in the dark, but I won't be able to film in the dark really. So now that my nails are done, I'm going to go hop on my sled. So continue watching if you want to see a couple clips of snowmobiling. Okay guys, thanks for watching. I think this is one of the last clips I got while I was out there because my camera ended up dying, but it was so much fun as usual. Thanks again for watching and I hope you found this helpful and fun and be sure to like and comment and subscribe. Love you guys.